What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Patrick. Uh, today we're going to be going over a product I've been super excited to get my hands on. Finally got my hands on it. Uh, it is the Asus Chrome Box. Uh, we're going to go over uh, just some quick specs uh, and if you're new to the uh, Chrome Box or Chromebook world, you're interested in buying one, uh, hopefully I can uh, help make up your mind today. So. Real quick, uh, Google makes the operating system. It's a new operating system. Uh, it's out. It's very proprietary. You can't get it on anything but these uh, Chrome boxes, Chromebooks, or Chrome bases. Uh, Chromebook is the laptop. The Chrome box uh, is the desktop box. And they have a Chrome base, uh, which LG makes exclusively. Uh, and it's just a all-in-one uh, screen and desktop uh, computer. The operating system, uh, if you are uh, on the fence about it, is essentially um, Google Chrome's operating system. So if you use Google Chrome uh, as your internet browser, you're halfway there. Uh, the operating system funct ex functions almost exclusively online, uh, but most computers without an internet connection nowadays are just a fancy paperweight that can play solitaire uh, anyway. Uh, if you are a uh, mobile phone user, you have a smartphone, you're also halfway there. Uh, if you use Windows 8 or 8.1, you're very, very uh, in the same ballpark with it. Everything is an app nowadays. We don't install programs. We go to the Windows App Store or the Chrome Web Store, and we download apps uh, as our programs nowadays, just like with our uh, smartphones. So if you're familiar with that, you are will be well uh, an expert already uh, at the Google Chrome uh, operating system. So uh, it's very easy, especially if you're not a tech savvy person. I definitely recommend uh, something like this. Uh, even for the kids, you want a box for them uh, that really only provides them internet access, um, their uh, Windows programs like uh, Word and Excel and PowerPoint uh, just to get their homework done. Uh, this is dead simple, uh, very secure, uh, very, very hard to get a virus uh, on one of these. So I'd say it's probably one of the most uh, secure operating systems that are out now. So let's get into this. This is the Chrome Box desktop version. Uh, pretty small, uh, 4.88 inches by 4.88 inches. So it's basically a square. Uh, and then it is 1.65 inches deep. Uh, it weighs 1.32 pounds. So it weighs uh, almost nothing. Um, this comes in midnight blue uh, is the color, um, only comes in one color. There are different Chrome boxes out there. Uh, HP makes one that's uh, almost identical to this on the inside, uh, just shaped a little bit differently and comes in four colors. Uh, price tag on this, it's right around 160 right now, uh, but it definitely flexes in between 150 and 200. Uh, this is the least expensive model. They do have a uh, Intel i3 model and a Intel i7 model, which is geared towards uh, business users if you want to use this uh, in a business environment for video conferencing. So, take a little tour around this. Uh, it is powered uh, by Intel. All of it is Intel Haswell fourth generation uh, processors. This is only a Celeron 2955U. Uh, and Celeron is a kind of a scary name uh, for IT guys like me. Uh, but I've been very impressed uh, with what this little box can do so far. Uh, so we have two <clears throat> USB 3.0 ports on the front. Love seeing USB 3.0 everywhere. Uh, I'm glad that people are finally uh, incorporating that into their products. Nothing on the left side over there. Uh, on the right side, uh, we have a, um, this is a Kensington lock. Uh, and just above it is a little pin uh, that you'll need to push uh, to get into some of the high-end developer options if you want to install uh, multiple operating systems on that. Uh, but we'll get into that in a later video uh, where we can install Windows on this, um, Linux operating systems, XBMC Media Center, I guess it's called Kodi uh, now, uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So uh, we'll get into that later. Uh, Two-in-one uh, SD or MMC uh, SD card reader. And then on the back here, uh, we do have an exhaust fan. Uh, this does not have a fan in it. Uh, the Acer one does, uh, and the old Samsung one does, but the HP and Asus one do not. Uh, they cool with convection, uh, but this is just to let some of the uh, heat uh, escape, and uh, it's very, very quiet. I've 
I've ran this pretty hard uh, for a week or so now uh, and have not heard it since. Uh, and it's, you know, an arm's length in front of me uh, to the right of my monitor over there. So very, very quiet device. And uh, Okay, over here we have our 65 watt uh, power in. This is a gigabit, uh, 10, 100, 1000 uh, LAN uh, internet jack. Uh, we have two more USB 3.0 ports, but I just have a Logitech uh, unifying receiver in there to kind of get an idea of how the, uh, you know, how a USB stick uh, might stick out of it in the back. Uh, very nice and easy to conceal uh, some things back there. Uh, HDMI, uh, which we're all familiar with, and this is DisplayPort. You can easily power two monitors uh, for maximum productivity with this. Uh, I do it all the time. Uh, works out wonderful. Um, and the graphics uh, in this, there's no really gra no real graphics card. It's Intel HD uh, 4000 series graphics, uh, but been very, very impressed uh, with what this can do, especially uh, once I installed XBMC uh, and got that to run uh, some pretty uh, high-end video clips. It's also 4K ready, uh, so this can easily uh, stream 4K uh, if you're interested in a 4K player uh, and you can somehow find some 4K content. There's not much 4K content out there. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, over here we have a headphone uh, microphone combo jack. And that's uh, just your eighth inch, three and a half millimeter jack. Uh, and that's about it. Midnight Blue, like I had mentioned, uh, wonderful, wonderful uh, product. I've been extremely impressed uh, so far. Uh, in terms of hardware, this box uh, is fantastic. Now the Chrome operating system definitely has its limitations. Uh, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, I'm going to do some tons of videos uh, about this and we'll really dive deep uh, into the Chrome operating system. Uh, and then uh, on the bottom, uh, if you're interested in modifying uh, this in any way, uh, it does come with uh, 2 gigs of RAM, uh, DDR3 1600 megahertz, I think it's 12800S uh, is the uh, RAM that they use. And you can upgrade that to 4 gigs. Uh, the 2 gigs are fine, I'll, I'll probably upgrade mine to 4 uh, shortly. Uh, we're definitely going to go over uh, how to do that. Uh, and also, uh, it has 16 gigs uh, of onboard SSD storage. And then you're like, whoa, 16 gigs, that's nothing. I can go out and buy a you know, cheap Dell for 250 bucks and has a 500 gig hard drive. Well, this functions uh, similar to our phones. We have apps nowadays. Apps are, you know, small, small files. Uh, not these, you know, two and three gig uh, big files that we're used to. Uh, file sizes are getting smaller. Everything is an app nowadays um, and plus uh, everything uh, that's on this like uh, movies and videos and pictures and all that uh, other personal media is stored in the cloud uh, this comes with 100 gigs of Google Drive cloud storage for all of your uh, personal media so the 16 gig storage is just like on your smartphone all it is is to store a handful of apps um, but the 16 gig SSD in here can also uh, vary be very easily be upgraded uh, and we'll go over that uh, shortly not shortly but in another video um, so make sure that uh, you're subscribed and you stay tuned for that uh, especially if you already own one of these uh, I will show you uh, everything I can uh, how to unlock uh, all the possibilities uh, that this wonderful uh, Google Chrome uh, device uh, has for us so uh, like the video if you like it dislike it if you dislike it if you have any questions or comments uh, for me, uh, if you have uh, any other questions that I haven't answered, uh, please leave them below. Um, I like to consider myself an expert uh, on this. I've definitely been behind uh, all of the Google products uh, for quite some time now, and I try to stay uh, in the know about all of that. So uh, leave those comments. I'll be around to answer as many as I can. Uh, and we will see you next time, guys. Uh, this is the Asus M400U Chromebox. Uh, so we'll see you next time. Thank you.